Hi, today is Tuesday, October 4th, and welcome to Vlogtober. So I decided to go ahead and do a little mini vlog series over the month of October, kind of like I did last year. I am opening it on the 4th because I've had to work the past three days. So my October is just really starting right now. I have been busy today kind of getting some decorations set up. I am not the kind of person who can do a decorate with me video because I have to tweak things and look at things and change things about a million times before I'm happy with it. So I'm sure this will probably get changed too, but I am really, really excited for October. Um, today, I am going to go over to my mom and dad's house. It's actually the 10th anniversary of when they adopted their little kitty, Mango. So we're gonna have a little party it's just kind of an excuse to get together um, with my brother and sister-in-law too so I am going to head over there so first I just wanted to quickly share what I'm warming so I did get my little witch's brew set up all done today and in my open concept upstairs I went with perfect day it's still pretty warm here I think it's supposed to be about 76 degrees today so this is a really nice option um, if you're not really ready for like super heavy spicy scents, it's almost along the same lines as autumn road trip to me. So it's a very kind of crisp early fall scent. And then in my bedroom, I am finishing this bar of black currant and plum. This is actually a really kind of perfumey scent. Um, really nice for a bedroom. Hi, Mango. Hi, Mango. Happy gotcha day. Mango, I'm going to give you your present now before my brother and sister-in-law get here. She's kind of afraid of them because she associates them with their dogs. So I wanted to give her her present. Mango, look. It's a present for you. Let's see what it is. <laughs> Should we pull this one? Want to go in there? She likes the bag. What is it? She what is it? Help? You need help? What is it? Oh! oh. Tasty human <laughs> treats. <laughs> I don't know if she'll like them, and I know she's on a diet, but. They only have two calories each. <laughs> I know there's something else. What's that? Oh, look, oh, Mango. They got little pink ears. <laughs> Mango. Mango, look. Uninterested. Oh, okay, let's try the third. <laughs> Mango. Look. Yeah, they have talent. You like tasty human treats? Oh, yes. <laughs> Yum. Swallowed that one whole. <laughs> hey, <it's just> for <laughs> now. Gotcha day, Mango. <laughs> Here they are, Mango. Oh. Here they are. Yeah. Oh, and there she goes. <laughs> no, that's supposed to feed. Oh, my room will feed. Hey, Ducky. She's real. Mango mules and mango beer in honor of mango oh, no. <laughs> and happy anniversary to these two. <laughs> okay, Colin, what did you bring Mango? Um, we brought her some mango colored cat toys. Oh. And some chicken chicken <laughs> favorite treats. And too bad she's hiding. <laughs> yeah. We'll never get to see her use them. 
All right, I just got home and that was a really fun little get together. I'm just waiting for Tyson to get home from work and I did put up his favorite Halloween wreath. If you watched my Halloween decor tour last year, you know that he actually hates this wreath because it is motion activated. <laughs> and he basically curses this wreath every time he walks past it. He hates it, I love it. So I'm going to try to get his reaction when he comes home from work. Hey oh. baby. Hey. How was it? <laughs> I don't like it. I don't. <laughs> Good morning, today is Thursday, October 6th and I am just making some morning coffee. I love this sweetie pie, pumpkin pie coffee that I usually pick up at places like Home Goods or TJ Maxx. If you have a chance to try it, it's really good. It's supposed to be a really pretty day here today, so I think my parents and I are actually going to take a little drive this afternoon to look at some of the fall leaves in the canyons, so I will bring you along for that. I had to wake up early for a Zoom meeting this morning, so I'm still trying to wake up. I have a little bit of work that I have to do before our fall afternoon ride. So I did change my wax out. I went with Cider Mill. This is a really, really nice, um, sweet kind of apple pumpkin scent. I do get a little hint of fall spice. Uh, I used to not love this one as much, but this is one that I kind of have been craving recently, so I need to stock up on that. And I figured while I was doing some work this morning, I'd go ahead and light this candle. This is Spooky Cider Lane from Bath and Body Works. And the scent notes, are bone chilling, bourbon glazed apples, magical maple syrup, and voodoo vanilla. And it actually reminds me a lot of Scentsy's caramel apple craze. So I am going to light this and try to get some work done. All right, it is pumpkin spice weather and we are ready to go. stopping for a little refreshment at one of the ski resorts. All right, we got ice cream cones.
morning. It is Friday, October 7th, and we are actually getting ready to head out on a little road trip. So Tyson's favorite college football team is Notre Dame, and they are playing BYU in Las Vegas. So we're headed to the game with my parents and Tyson's family, so it should be really fun. Go Irish. Okay, it's time for the hanging of the ceremonial falling <laughs> apple scent circle. Woo here we go. Can you smell it? That's all right, hey, we're Viva ready to Las go. Vegas. <laughs> right, we're stopping for lunch in Mesquite and it's 93 degrees here. Hot and sunny. All right, we just made it to our Airbnb and it is pretty spectacular. So let me take you on a little tour. So walking in, this is kind of like a billiards room, TV bar really fun and then there's a little sitting area over here another tv dining table really nice kitchen and then outside we've got a pool fire pit lounge chairs and a really nice setup out here got some snacks laundry room and then here's one of the bedrooms really cute and then a bathroom with a shower. And then upstairs. Hello. Hello. We've got a foosball table. <laughs> Someone's lounging. <laughs> and then a really cool like bonus room. Is that what you'd call this? That's fun. Game room. There's Tyson exploring. Here's the master that actually has two rooms or two beds. Big TV. Huge bathroom with a huge closet. Really nice. And then <laughs> we've got two more bedrooms over here. And then one with two beds. And then this one has a walk in closet. Really cute. And then a bathroom. So. Yeah, I think this, this is was, this, was a <laughs> this is a party house. <laughs> it this might be hard to get up from there. This was a mistake. <laughs> and now we're just waiting for the rest of the family to get here. Hi pool boy. It's gonna be refreshing. Yeah, I think it's gonna be crisp. I don't think this pool is heated. We've got some loungers over here. All right, how's the water? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I thought you said it's refreshing. <laughs> Take the plunge. <laughs> Polar bear plunge. <laughs> All right, I just blew up this giant football. <laughs> this is going to be a really bad throw. <laughs> Incomplete pass. Cheers! 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 Go Irish! Cheers! 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 Go Irish! Let's see, something's gonna jump out. Are you ready? Oh! oh.
said if the Irish win, we're getting in the pool. I don't know so if I can. So here we go. <laughs> All right, good morning. It is Monday the 10th. We both have today off and we are going to spend the day recovering. So we're just starting with some morning coffee. All right, Tyson just went to get us some lunch. So I think I am going to change out the Scentsy warmers. So I am going to go through my little stash and pick out some new scents. So I think upstairs I wanna go with something a little bit bright and clean. And I think I am going to go with Rise and Sunshine. This was a scent of the month a few years ago. This is kind of a nice spiced orange scent that I like in the fall. So I think I'm gonna do this one in the open concept upstairs. And then I'm trying to clear out this bin just so I can consolidate some of my bins. This has some kind of spiced pear scents. So I have honey pear cider, I also have spiced pear, which is a really good one. I might hold on to my bars of that. Um, and then I have some kind of overflow here. So I'm trying to clear this bin out. So I think I'm going to go for honey pear cider in our downstairs. Downstairs, I've been warming cider mills. So I'm going to soak this up. I'm loving this Hocus Pocus warmer, by the way. I think it is so cute. The witches. <laughs> Kind of actually scared my husband he didn't know <laughs> that it cast that shadow and when he first noticed it it kind of spooked him and then i'm gonna clean this one out and then i do have this one that has a purple bulb in it and it's actually really hard to see <laughs> that this warmer is even on the purple bulb does not cast a lot of light and then I think we should have room to soak up one more warmer. And then over on the other side, I have my etched core. <laughs> this one was pretty full. All right, I think that cotton cleanup is as full as it's going to get. So for the bookshelf warmers, I'm going to do one cube each. And then two cubes for my etched core warmer. All right, and I am just clearing the cider mill out of the upstairs warmers. And because this warmer dish is small, I just do one cube in it, and there is the Rise and Sunshine. We'll do two cubes in Rustic Jack, one cube in the coffee station, two cubes in Jack, one cube in the laundry room. Sorry, we are catching up on laundry right now. And then I am going to finish off the bar with one cube in the Goulash Grip Warmer in the bathroom. Hi, today is Tuesday the 11th and I actually have the next few days off of work. So my parents and I are going to be checking off some Halloween performances that we wanted to fit in this year. Tonight we're actually going to kind of a Halloween dance performance. I'm really excited for that. I think we'll go eat dinner at a little spooky village first. And then tomorrow we're actually going to an opera, um, The Flying Dutchman. I've never been to an opera before, so I'm really excited for that. Um, but first we are headed to dinner tonight. For dessert, pumpkin pie cake. I did get a few souvenirs, including these earrings, to wear to the show.
Hello, it is Wednesday the 12th and it has already been a very busy morning here. I had to get up early for a work meeting and then there was a Scentsy flash sale. So I don't think it was even up on the site for four or five hours before it was turned off because everything sold out really, really quickly. So I hope you were able to get your hands on some good things. There were a lot of good buys on warmers, especially licensed warmers, um, lots of good buys on wax too. So I did stock up on a few old favorites and in honor of that sale, I reached into my stash and picked out a bar of A is for Apple. I was actually able to buy several of these. This is one of my all time favorite apple scents. It is a very sweet apple and I actually really, really love it in October. So I am going to put this one through the open concept. All right, I am just waiting for my parents to pick me up. We are headed to dinner and then to the opera. And I feel so fancy saying that. I have never been to an opera before, so I'm really excited for tonight. I think it'll be a really cool experience. Blue margaritas. Cheers. Cheers. Like your tie, Dad. Very fitting for the flying Dutchman. <laughs> All right, here's our souvenir opera glasses. <laughs> at the gift shop gave my mom and I these beautiful scarves for free from their last opera flight and dad got wings <laughs> a little souvenir <laughs> so we thought that was nice <laughs> What did you think? I thought it was great. Yeah. yeah, it was really, really good. It smells good in here. Thanks. It's A is for Apple. <laughs> How's the gym? <sighs> Are you sad you missed the opera? 100% no. No, <laughs> you're not an opera guy. Nope. <laughs> no. Okay. Especially with freaking subtitles, no. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the opera was in German and it had English subtitles. So I liked it, it was cool. <laughs> Hi, today is Wednesday the 19th. I actually just got home from work. It was a long day, so don't mind this, but I did come home to a Scentsy box on my doorstep and it is the scent of the month for November. So I am really excited to open this box and smell it for the first time. All right, here it is. I'm really excited because it is a tree scent and I am usually a fan of tree scents in the winter so that's the warmer of the month sparkling snowman really cute a really cute element warmer that lights up so we also have some stickers and the bars so this bar is sweet orange and evergreen and i usually really like orange scents and i usually really like evergreen scents so let's give this one a try all right i'm gonna smell this one for the first time Ooh, I like this. It's soft and it could be because this bar is cold. But right off the bat, this actually smells a lot like the pine scent that's in iced pine. It's that same kind of almost like soapy sharp pine scent. Let me take this out and smell the bottom. All right. Yeah. So hmm, I like this one better than iced pine. To me, there's something very sharp about iced pine. This is a little bit softer, a little bit more fur-like to me. So almost like resinous or sappy. I don't get a lot of orange from this. And again, this bar is kind of cold. I just brought it in from outside. But 
I don't get a ton of orange. Let me break this. Yeah, this is actually a pretty authentic kind of pine evergreen scent. But I'm not getting a ton of citrus. But I'd say if you like fresh, clean, kind of Christmassy tree scents, then you will like this one. Especially if you like scents like iced pine or very snowy spruce. This isn't as sweet as icicles and evergreen. And it's not as citrusy as evergreen and grapefruit. But this is a really nice kind of middle of the road winter pine scent. It might be along the lines of Mighty Pine. That was a very, very fresh scent. This one's a little bit softer. Again, a little bit more kind of resinous, but really, really nice. I think I am really going to enjoy this one. I also got a little package from Amazon. So I did get this book for my parents as a little Halloween gift. Um, I heard an interview with this author on NPR the other day, and it actually sounded pretty interesting. My dad is really into um, ancestry, and so I think he'll enjoy reading about cemeteries. I know that kind of sounds like a morbid subject, but this was a really interesting interview. And something new to me, I actually got these little silicone cups, and I am going to try melting some wax in some of my warmers. Um, it's a little uh, off-label use of my Scentsy warmer, so I don't really want to endorse it, but I'll show you what I'm going to try to do. So as you might have heard me talk about ad nauseum, I love <laughs> Scent Witch's Brew from Yankee Candle. This is probably my ultimate favorite Halloween scent. It's just a very kind of straightforward, sweet patchouli scent. They do make melt cups of these, but my idea was I got these little sets of tea lights and I am really nervous about putting this kind of wax in a warmer. I don't even know if this will melt the way I want it to because it is, I think, that kind of hard like paraffin wax. <laughs> so I thought what I could try is to put one of these in my warmer, in a hot warmer, and see if I can melt this and get some fragrance out of it and some throw out of it. Um, these I think would be about equivalent to a cube of Scentsy Bar Wax. So I'm gonna give this a try and see how it does. This might be a complete flop. I'm worried that these probably won't even melt, but we'll give it a try. Good morning, today is Friday, October 21st, and both Tyson and I have the day off work today. Um, it's actually Tyson's fall break. He works for a school district and gets a fall break. So um, we are just gonna be kind of relaxing this morning and this afternoon. And then I am actually going to a ballet with my friend tonight. So um, in the meantime, I wanted to let you know what I am going to be warming and burning today. I actually picked up this candle from Bath and Body Works a few weeks ago. I love this scent. This is spiced pumpkin and patchouli. And the scent notes are rich pumpkin, warm patchouli, a touch of cinnamon sugar with natural essential oils. So as you know, I love Witch's Brew from Yankee Candle, which is a very sweet patchouli scent. And when I smelled this at Bath & Body Works, I fell in love because this is a perfect mix of a sweet harvest pumpkin spice with that kind of mysterious patchouli note. I love this. I might even love this a little bit more than Witch's Brew. It's a little bit more approachable because it's not just straight patchouli. So I think I'm going to burn this. I also wanted to show you the Hurricane that I'm using. So I actually got this at Bath & Body Works several years ago. It's probably when we first moved into this house. And 
I have never used this and I absolutely love the spiderweb motif, but I feel like I've never had a really great place to display this. So I think I'm just gonna set it here on the counter for now until I figure out what I want to do with it. But I am going to um, burn this candle today and then I thought I would try melting witch's brew in one of my Scentsy warmers. So I'm gonna pop the wax out of this little tea light and give it a go. All right, and then inspired by that spiced pumpkin and patchouli, I think in the rest of my warmers upstairs, I am going to go with an old favorite pumpkin roll. I actually haven't warmed this uh, so far this year, so I am really excited to break into this. It just hasn't felt quite fall enough but it has been cool. It's supposed to rain this weekend and maybe snow in the mountains. So I think we're ready for pumpkin roll. I've actually had it in my wall fan diffuser in the front room for a few days and it's really been making me crave this. So I think I'll try this throughout the rest of the upstairs. All right, I am going to clean out the warmers upstairs and I've been melting blackberry spice and it has really grown on me. It's a really, really nice option for a fall scent. If you're not in the mood for apple, pumpkin, or bakery, it is just really, really pleasant. And my husband has complimented it too. So I'm going to clean these out and then let's try my little experiment. This candle is burning beautifully. And then I just tried to pry this tea light out of the little holder. And the wax was actually more crumbly than I was expecting it to be. So I did kind of take the wax off of the little wick and then this is what I was left with. So I am going to pop this in the warmer and I'll report back with how it's doing. All right, I am going to try this in the rustic jack warmer because it's a 25 watt bulb and I cleaned out the dish really well with rubbing alcohol so that there wouldn't be any residue between the dish and the little silicone cup. All right, here we go. And then pumpkin roll in the rest of the warmers. Cozy Vanilla and Pumpkin from the Harvest Collection this year might have been a better mix with the spiced pumpkin and patchouli candle, just because it's a little less bakery than pumpkin roll, but I actually don't have any of the Cozy Vanilla and Pumpkin. Um, I do need to stock up and I might make a little temporary club to stock up on some of the scents that I like from the Harvest and Holiday Collections this year been about half an hour and it's actually melting so it still smells pretty light to me I don't know if I'm gonna get a lot of throw from this but I'm glad to see that the wax is actually melting I thought it might be too hard for a scentsy warmer so we'll see how it goes all right I just got home from the ballet and it was a really nice night out so I think we are just going to relax and maybe watch a scary movie and a quick update on the witch's brew it completely melted after about an hour and um, it is pretty light. I can only smell it if I get close to the warmer. So I might try to put two in next time and I might try it down in my etched core warmer, which is a little bit hotter, but I am actually kind of impressed that it melted all the way. Hello, it is Sunday the 23rd. Tyson is just making us some Sunday brunch. We're having coffee and I am drinking mine out of the new Ray Dunn mug that I picked up this year. I thought that was really cute. It's been really cold here. It's actually snowing over at my mom and dad's house. So I think we'll probably just stay in today and make it a cozy day. Oh, these breakfast sandwiches look so good. Thank you. You're welcome. I don't know if you can tell, but there is some hail coming down and it is really cold outside. All right, we've got a roast in the crock pot for dinner later tonight. And then I am going to change out the wax. So I think because it is such a cold day outside, 
and we just want it to feel really cozy inside. I'm actually going to try a scent that I've never warmed before. This is around the campfire. So this is a very kind of sweet, smoky scent. So we'll see how it does. I think I'm just going to put this all through the kitchen, front room, and living room. And I have been warming pumpkin roll. This time, it's actually been smelling a little bit more like gingerbread to me than it has in the past, especially in the laundry room where I've had it going. So I just thought that was kind of interesting. And then just a quick update on the witch's brew. So it did melt okay and i actually could smell it i don't know if this is the route i would go in in the future i might just get the milk cups they're just a little bit more expensive than the tea lights and i thought i would just try the tea lights for the first time and see how they went so here is the puck of wax and then it did discolor the little silicone cup and then i actually have burned a few tea lights this one extinguished itself I have this cute little tea light holder that I got at Walmart. So I've been burning some of my witch's brew candles. They go really well with the spiced pumpkin and patchouli. All right, I've had this bar for over a year and it's actually kind of coming across a little on the maple side to me now that it's been sitting for a while. I don't think I picked that up as much when this was fresh, but definitely now in the clamshell, there is kind of a sweet maple undertone. So we'll see how this does warming. I don't know if it'll be my favorite, but I know a lot of people absolutely love this scent. I'll have to see what Tyson thinks about it. My guess is he will not like it. All right, we are just heading over to my mom and dad's house really quick to give them their little Halloween present. And we thought that this stormy day called for some pumpkin spice lattes. Thank you. Appreciate it, thank you. Yeah, you too. Pumpkin spice latte for us. White chocolate mocha. It's a winter wonderland out it's here. Yeah. Oh. Can you believe all this snow, Tyson? That's crazy. I'm not ready for it. Wow. <laughs> we're not ready for this yet. No, we're not. <laughs> we need a few more weeks of the fall. Yeah. Feels like it just goes straight from summer to winter. Well, just got home to a Scentsy delivery. This should be my flash sale order, and I'm really excited to get this open and see everything that I picked up with that awesome flash sale. All right, the roast is done, and it smells so, so good. Oh, yeah. Yum. Oh, it smells so good in here. Good morning, today is Saturday, October 29th, and I have a pretty busy day ahead. My mom and I are going to go to one of my friend's baby showers this afternoon, and then I think later tonight we are going to try to go look at some Halloween decorations, so that should be fun. So I am just going to quickly change out the wax, and upstairs I am going to go with Halloween Town. All right, the baby shower was really fun, and Tyson and I are just heading over to my parents' house. We are going to eat dinner and then go look at Halloween decorations. All right, what's for dinner? Ooh. Oh, yeah, pizza. Pizza, pizza. Oh, yeah. All right. Dad got the Jeep all decorated. We're ready to go check out some Halloween decorations.
the Harry Potter house.
All right, we just got back and now it's time for some hot chocolate to warm us up. <laughs> hot chocolate oh, yeah. <laughs> Miko, happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Are you supervising the hot chocolate making? So Thank you, Mom. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, Cheers. Cheers. Happy Halloween. Hot coco. All right, before we head out, I just wanted to share the Halloween warmers that my parents have set up. So in the kitchen, they have the Enchanted Pumpkin. This is one of my all-time favorites. And then on the other side of the kitchen, they have this little mini plug-in. I can't remember its name, but it is so cute. Over on their buffet, new this year, they have the Tiger's Eye Pumpkin, and this is so pretty. And what's warming in this one, Mom? Wizarding World. It has a new Harry Potter scent, and it smells really good. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> and over by the fireplace, they have one of our all-time favorites. This is the Jack Warmer. And then over on this table, they have the Acute Copper. Yeah, this one is perfect for the fall. Perfect for the fall. All right, we're home. I have my Halloween jammies on, and we are just going to watch a couple scary movies. And I've got all the Halloween lights turned on to set the spooky scene. And we are going to watch one of my favorite old scary movies, The Haunting. Hi, today is Sunday, October 30th, and today is the day we are finally going to watch Hocus Pocus 2. So we are just getting ready to have a little Hocus Pocus party. So Tyson is just helping me get Billy's chili ready. And then I just finished these book brownies. I'm definitely not a professional, but I think they turned out pretty cute. And I'm going to put some fresh wax in the warmers. I think upstairs I am going to go with a root beer barrel. And I did A is for apple downstairs. All right, we are just doing a very simple table setting for dinner tonight, but I did find these really cute black flame candle napkins. And I found these really cute sodas, Salem Sisters Bad Apple Soda, brought into the course. So I thought those would be perfect. All right, mom and dad just got here. Hello. Love the witch hat. <laughs> Yeah. And I'm dressed up as a Bucky's satisfied customer. <laughs> Love it. Only here for the snacks. Only here sure. for the snacks. Sure. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> right, we are just gonna have a pre-dinner drink. This is Winnie's potion. Ooh. Cheers! Clink. Clink. Time for Billy's chili. Mm. How is it? Good. <laughs> All right, oh, this is our dessert oh, spread. Oh, wow. So we've got Spellbook Brownies, Maggot Museum Mix. These are Allison's Apples, and this is Dead Man's Toes, and then we have some dipping sauces. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. We are going to watch the first Hocus Pocus first, so let's get started. <laughs> One movie down. <laughs> All right, I've got my Maggot Museum mix, my Salem Sisters Bad Apple Soda, and we're ready to see Hocus Pocus 2. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> How many thumbs would you give this movie? One. Okay. A half of one, Tyson. I didn't like it. Not at all. I think they rushed it. Yeah. Yeah. They just pushed it right through. Okay. I didn't like it at all. And I thought it was fine. I love the original and think that the original is just so clever. But it was nice to see the sisters again. And I think it was kind of a sweet ending. So, yeah, I think it was okay. But it was really fun to get together to watch both of the movies and have a little Hocus Pocus party. All right, that was a really fun Hocus Pocus party. Tyson and I just got the kitchen all cleaned up. And unfortunately, we both have to work tomorrow on Halloween and we won't get home from work until late. So we will miss all the trick or treaters. So that's why we kind of wanted to do something big tonight. So I hope everyone has had a really wonderful October and has a very happy Halloween. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.